you guys. It has been quite the morning. So first thing I did was I went to get my coffee and my guy was at Panera again. He hasn't been there in a couple of have I told you guys about my guy yet? There's this like really sweet guy who just like knows me and he's just a nice guy and always like all it takes is for someone to like give you a smile and recognize that they see you every day <laughs> and like it makes you happy you know like literally you see me every day it makes no sense when someone can't do that because I come here every day <laughs> and so like it's almost awkward I mean it probably is awkward actually that I go every day but I personally like the rapport that you build <laughs> when you go somewhere every day so like I like that feeling of okay I acknowledge that I see you every day you see me every day we're friends Dominic on the other hand <laughs> whenever we go through and they like know who he is or they know his order or like they recognize his voice he always looks at me and he's like that's so embarrassing <laughs> And I'm like, how embarrassing is it really? Like, we go every day. So the more embarrassing thing would be if they didn't, like, recognize us at all. Then that's kind of embarrassing in itself that you're not, like, memorable, you know? <laughs> but anyway, he was so nice, obviously. And I thought he, I thought it was him at the speaker, but I wasn't sure. Because I don't, I, I guess I know his name, apparently. Because I recognized the name and I was like, oh, maybe this is my guy. I look like shit, though. When I pulled up to that window, I literally looked like I had been ran over. I fixed my hair a little bit because well now at this point because um I don't know I realized I was walking around looking like a crazy person because I went there first and like I don't care that I look like shit he's probably seen me looking worse <laughs> because I roll up there in the morning every day but then I went to Walmart and I literally do not have a bra on you guys like I was not planning on going to Walmart which I guess is fine like I usually I mean you know you can walk around without a bra any day but but normally I try my best <laughs> to dress appropriately if I'm going into a store but today I said I'm just running into Walmart to get some chilies do you think or chilies I meant jalapenos do you think that that is all I got because <laughs> you would be very mistaken if you think that is this Walmart plus membership is great because when you order online like you order what you order and that's it <laughs> You don't go through the lines and decide, oh, I want bacon. Maybe one morning I'll have some sausage. Like, you don't go, you know, a little crazy in there. But because I decided to stop there for some jalapenos today, I also used the app. And apparently, if you have the Walmart Plus membership, this is not an ad. I do not be sponsored by Walmart, obviously. It would be amazing if I was. <laughs> but you can scan your item as you go. So, like, I had my phone out. And I was scanning each item as I went. If I had a reusable bag, this would be perfect. So from now on, I'm going to pack my reusable bag in my car. Hopefully. <laughs> That's what I'd like to do. Because if you go in with a reusable bag, you scan your item, you put it in the bag right away. Like, you're bagged up for the day. Like, you, then you go through the checkout. Like, all you have to do through the checkout is confirm the amount of items you have and that's it you pay on your phone and everything I don't even think you actually have to go through no you do have to go through the checkout I think because I had to scan the checkout which was kind of annoying because I thought when I signed up I read that you don't even have to like go through the checkout at all like you just bag everything as you go and then you show the front person but I think you do have to go through the checkout scan your code and then that's it you pay on your phone you don't even have to bring your card in it's amazing but anyway, I'll show you guys what I got, actually, since I did end up getting more stuff than I had imagined myself getting. <laughs> but I got these um, ramen. These are our favorite ramen. Whenever, like, we just don't feel like cooking at night, Dominic will, like, make up a ramen and we'll just throw a couple eggs in it. And it's so good. It's so yummy. These are delicious. They are a little spicy, though, so keep that in mind. Um, but I personally love spice. And Dominic's gotten better with spice. He didn't used to be very good with spice. But since he had COVID, both of our taste buds have changed so drastically since COVID. He actually can handle spice way more than I can now. Um, but then I got some tomatoes because what I wanted the jalapenos for was I want to make goulash. So I went and I got some more tomatoes. Like, did I need this many tomatoes for goulash? No, absolutely not. But I was there wanting to scan them. And it was so much fun to be able to just like scan them and go. So I was like just picking up stuff as I went. I got eggs. I got a lot of eggs because we're almost out. I got some. Ooh, I got some candy canes because I want to put them on the tree. So I thought that would be fun to do. And then I got a couple of beef broths. Okay, this is stuff I actually needed, to be honest. I actually needed beef broth and I needed tomatoes for goulash. So 
I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. I just realized I needed more when I got in there. I did get mayonnaise because I saw the other day we were almost out of mayonnaise and I use that a lot and then on top of it i want to make egg salad which is also why i got so many eggs because last night we saw in a show or maybe a commercial or something someone was having an egg salad sandwich what was that what were we watching oh it was a movie oh my gosh you guys last night we watched nine something the nine christmases or something nine something on disney plus and so far it's really cute it is a kid movie so keep that in mind like we there are moments where we're both looking at each other like we should have a child while we're watching this because it's not very funny but it's really cute and the storyline's cute and this girl ate an egg sandwich in it and we were like oh that or egg salad sandwich and i was like mm, that sounds delicious so that's what i want to make but then this is the bag of nonsense that i decided to pick up so i got um some kielbasa for some time i mean it lasts forever apparently it's good till march 24th 2024 so we'll use this at some point i thought maybe we'll have eggs one night with some sausage and call it a day i got bacon just because i love bacon and i mean i didn't get anything special bacon wise let's see and this is yeah it's good till february so i mean you got time to utilize it and then i got some cheese because we ran out of cheese yesterday and then this is where it gets a little crazy but i kind of wanted to stock up on this i'm not gonna lie however i don't really like m m's so I don't really know why I purchased this, but they were 93 cents. So that's kind of why. I kind of was thinking I wanted to stock up on it because I feel like that's a good deal to just have in the fridge. We don't usually buy this, like, we never actually. I can't tell you the last time we bought, like, pre-made cookie dough. So, um, I mean, 93 cents, you can't really go wrong. Everything I got, honestly, was stuff that I needed. But the funny part was when I went through to the checkout line, the lady that was like, I don't know who she was. I think she was maybe, like, the self-checkout person or something but she came around and she was like are you a spark driver <laughs> and I, in my head I was like I mean I'm not but I have actually I am a spark driver <laughs> I've signed up for spark before I've never done it because honestly it doesn't sound like a good time to me personally picking up like all of these bags because one thing that I do dislike about the Walmart delivery services is that they bag things separate like everything is separate so literally there'd be one item in each of these bags and that's just too many bags that sounds horrible <laughs> as a delivery driver to have to pick up that many bags and not to mention like people don't really tip that much like they tip similarly to how they would on DoorDash where you can just pick up one bag at like one bag of their dinner for the same amount of tip as picking up a hundred bags and having to deliver them but anyway, I said, obviously, no. And she was like, oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, don't worry. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad you thought I was a delivery driver. But what I am is looking like a hobo <laughs> right now. Like, actually, like, I have no bra on. My hair was looking way crazier than it does even now. Like, I just didn't look like someone who should be at their job so i was like oh my god how like the people they have rolling up in here are probably looking crazy but i actually think maybe she thought it because she saw me scanning throughout like when i was scanning all the items or something so she just assumed i was but i was like no i'm a walmart plus member and this was my first time using that that scanning thing so at first i was like i'm about to get in trouble <laughs> you know i always think i'm gonna get in trouble for something but anyway let me bring all this home because i obviously have meats and stuff but i'll check in with you guys later i just wanted to tell you that story because i was just like i don't know how these drivers be rolling up with no bras on like i have sandals on right now like things i would never do for doordash <laughs> but i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm making goulash tonight, and I figured I'd show you guys the recipe because I love goulash, if you've never heard of it. I've actually made it on my channel before, but it's banging, so I'm just going to show you guys in case you didn't get to see that video. It was a long time ago anyway, but the first thing you're going to want to do is dice some onions, some garlic, and add that into uh, either a Dutch oven. You can do it in a crock pot, too. It just takes longer, obviously, um, but I like to do it in the Dutch oven, and, well, mostly I'm out of time to do it in a crock pot. I actually prefer to do it in a crock pot because then it smells your house up all day, but we're doing Dutch oven today, um, and then I'm going to drain this grease. I don't know. My mom hasn't texted me back yet and usually I have to ask for clarity with her but she is unresponsive so I'm gonna drain the grease like a little bit at least I'm not gonna drain it all because I feel like she usually doesn't drain it completely I think she likes the 
she likes it. I think she actually might not drain it at all, if I remember right. But we're going to drain it a little bit just because it feels like a lot of grease. I actually ended up using two pounds of beef to this recipe only calls for one but i'm gonna do a double recipe so that it lasts us longer but i'm gonna drain this really quick and then i'll be back with you guys so once you brown the meat the recipe like i said i'm doubling the recipe but the recipe calls for two cups of marinara or tomato based pasta sauce I'm just going to use the whole thing, <laughs> I think. So I got this pasta sauce. This is our favorite. I'm just hoping that this doesn't kind of ruin it because it's got obviously a flavor to it. But I'd be love. I mean, I guess I'm using fire roasted tomatoes and I'm using garlic in it. So I don't think it'll ruin it. But you're supposed to add in your pasta sauce. You add tomato paste as well. Okay, you guys. Dominic learned a new way to open a can and he totally messed our can opener <laughs> with it so now our can opener is broken but i think i'm just gonna add this whole entire thing because i feel like that is probably about six tablespoons in my opinion so we're doing a whole can of six ounces of tomato paste okay then we're gonna add in two cans of diced tomatoes this is our favorite the fire roasted ones and it says to add it in with the juices so that's what we're doing and then we're gonna add in Dominic would probably like me to add in green chilies, which I bought green chilies. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to do that because he'll be sad. If I, if I add in jalapenos, I think it'll be too spicy for him. Maybe I'll just do green chilies. Well, no, he's good with spice now. I don't know. We're going to stick to what he would like, but I know that normally my mom adds in jalapenos, and I love jalapenos in them like so much maybe i'll just add a little bit of the jalapenos i'm not going to he would be well but these don't really add much spice honestly i'm adding jalapenos you guys we're going for it hopefully he doesn't realize <laughs> because he definitely doesn't like super spicy things but i just feel like the way she makes it is perfect so why are we going to change it yeah that's perfect okay we'll just add in like a little bit of jalapenos we're not going to add the whole can in because he just wouldn't like that. <laughs> okay, and then you're supposed to add in all of your chopped pepper. It calls for green pepper. I think it's just to add color, to be honest, but I do wish we had green pepper, but we don't. So I used red pepper. So we're gonna do that. And then we add the most important secret ingredient, which is just taco seasoning. So I'm gonna add this one, and then I'm also going to add a Great Value brand. We just, that's what we have. So I think, I might even add three, honestly. We like it super seasoned here, so we'll see how it turns out with all of these seasonings in it, but um, that's literally all I add. I do like a little bit of salt and pepper as well in it, but other than that, that's it, and then we're gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer for the next four, let's see, four, five, six, probably for the next two hours, but it doesn't call for that. Um, it definitely just calls for like letting it simmer for 15 minutes, <laughs> but I like to let it simmer longer because I like all of the flavors to get really deep in there. And then um, the other thing that you're gonna do is at the end, you're gonna add in your elbow noodles. So I'll show you guys that after once this is all all done simmering but it looks so good you guys it's gonna be so delicious okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let it come to a boil and then i'm going to drop it down to just a simmer with a couple of bay leaves in it we always like to put bay leaves in any of like anything we do really with all of our chilies we like to add some bay leaves and you'll also well if you have them you'll want to add cinnamon sticks we do that with everything too and it's just it adds like an extra layer of like depth to this kind of meal um so we just add a couple of cinnamon sticks and a couple of bay leaves and then we're good to go and we'll let it simmer for the next couple of hours and then it should be ready once i put the noodles in it you guys i did in fact forget to add the beef broth so i added almost a whole entire container of beef broth um what you're gonna want to add is just one and three fourths a cup if you're doing one serving of this recipe and i'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys as well but but I obviously did two, so it was like three and a half cups that I added. I think, let's see, two, yeah, three and a half cups. Um, and then I added all my stuff back in because I can't believe I forgot that. But I also ended up adding almost all of the can of jalapenos because I don't know, you guys. I just think it's going to be so much better with the jalapenos. <laughs> also, this is real life. 
<laughs> like this is what my house looks like at the moment. <laughs> I only was showing you this pot for a reason, but um, we're gonna let it simmer now and it's gonna be bang. And I just had like a little bite of it and it was so good. <laughs> you guys i am just going to bed now <laughs> but i wanted to wrap this video up i have teeth whitener on because i noticed my teeth have been yellow in my videos for some reason so we're doing teeth whitener it's actually very like natural teeth whitener oh there's an amazon delivery guy outside it looks like um let me see i want to tell you guys what brand it is because i've been using it for a while it's clearly not working <laughs> because my teeth are still yellow but i think that's all the coffee i drink um, where the heck is it, you guys? Oh, here it is. This is what it is. And it's great. We love it. It's good for your teeth. And that's what we need. We can't have the stuff with, like, the chemicals and stuff in it. Because you guys know I'm on a teeth journey. <laughs> but I am going to go to bed now. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>